Hello, and welcome to Coding Cave. My name is Andre. And my name is Chris. And today we'll be talking about lists in Elm. Take it away, Chris. All right, so we've talked about values and functions, but we haven't talked about collections. What happens if you have a bunch of values that you want to kind of keep together? Well, you use a collection for that. And in Elm, there are a bunch of collections, but today we're talking about lists. Now, if you have a bunch of values of the same type, let's say a bunch of numbers, well, you probably want to put them into a list. And how do we do that? We start with the open bracket, and then your values separated by commas. So one, two, and three, and then the closing bracket. If we press enter, the REPL will tell us that this is a list of numbers. Now, we're not just limited to numbers, we have all types of different values in Elm, like strings, for instance. So if we want a list of strings, we can start the open brackets. Uh, it's D for D. And then the closing bracket, and this should be a list of strings. One important thing to note is that you can't have a list of different types. So you can't have a list of strings and numbers. Uh, Elm will tell you something about it. So if we do a list of one, and then we try to put an E in here, oops. Elm says the second element is a string of type string, but all the previous elements in the list are number, and then gives us a hint. Everything in a list must be the same type of value. This way we uh, don't run into unexpected values part way through a list stop map. List off. And we'll talk about some of those uh, other functions in a later video. But that's essentially uh, the list collection. The list collection has a few operations that we can perform inside of the list module. One of them being length. We can get to this by writing list.length and passing in as a parameter a list of any type. And this will turn the size of the list. So since this list has three elements, we'll get back three. We can also perform a sum of the list if it is of type number by writing list.number and passing in a list of numbers as a parameter. So one, two, and three inside the list will be added and we'll get back a single number, six. We can also have the head function, which we can get to by writing list.head and passing in any type of list as a parameter. So list.head will return us one as a number because the first element in the list. You also have tail. We can get to this by writing list.tail and passing in a list of any type. And we'll get back all the elements in, as a list, except the first element. So we'll get back two and three inside of a list. Thank you for watching. Give us a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in our next video.